So I just want to start uh, by putting this in a little larger context by asking Matt, so uh, this was one study in one period of time of one, one media market. Is there any way to compare that either to this market in other times or with other media markets? There is. Um, you know, one of the things about doing this research from 1998 is um, we focus primarily on elections. And so most of the research that we've done is right before the election season um, for coverage of politics, which is, I think, arguably uh, the most civic type of content that local TV can, can portray. Um, that being said, we can still sort of make some comparisons um, between our previous studies um, uh, and different markets. And I, I, there's a couple different examples. Um, in 2004, we looked at 11 different markets around the country, and they range from Dayton, Ohio to uh, Des Moines, Iowa, uh, to New York City, to Philadelphia, and of course, LA. Um, and we looked at 44 stations in total, um, and we looked at all of the evening news coverage in 2004. And again, this was right before the election, which is, is a civic uh, uh, importance. Um, and what we found is that of those 11 markets, um, Miami and Tampa devoted the most amount of time to election coverage. So Miami was about 15% and Tampa was about 14%. LA, in comparison, was tied with a whole bunch of other markets, including uh, Dayton, uh, um, uh, Philadelphia, and New York City at about 9%. So the best that we found in terms of overall election coverage was Miami and Tampa. LA was tied with a bunch at 9%. The only market that had less in our study was Seattle, which had about 6%. So that gives some content of, of how LA compares with other markets on that. The one area where LA did particularly poorly in that 2004 study was coverage of local elections. Um, the best market in that study was Dallas. Um, and about uh, 14 or 15% of their coverage was on local elections. They were helped a little bit because they had a big stadium initiative on that ballot that sort of jacked their percentage up a little bit. The number in comparison for LA, though, was 1.7%. So Los Angeles um, uh, overall focused a lot less of the election coverage that they have on local elections. The, the big chunk in 2004 was on presidential election in, in LA. Um, so uh, uh, that gives some sort of civic context to um, the history of, of LA. One of the things that we found in this report is how much crime there was on LA. So I went back and I sort of compared with um, uh, our 2004 study to see how LA ranked in terms of the amount of crime coverage that they had. And what we found is that, um, in fact, in 2004, seven of the other 11 markets had more crime than LA. So we have a lot, but um, uh, other people may have had more. The, the market with the most amount of crime was Philadelphia. Um, but I think the, the interesting part is that in 2004, um, Philadelphia, 13% of all of their time was devoted to crime. LA came in at about 8%. That compares to the amount of time that we saw today, which is almost a quarter of the uh, uh, total time devoted to crime. So between 2004 and 2010, it seems that the amount of crime coverage has gone up significantly. Well, the um, amount of crime has gone down. Well, the amount of crime has, has gone down. Um, so I think that's, that's sort of an interesting way of, of putting some context on it. Um, and then I'll just sort of wrap up that there were two places where LA in, in 2004 did better than anybody else in the country. LA, Air, LA stations had more ads and more teasers than any other um, market in the country. So we're, LA was the winner on that one. So.